Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for November 16th, read by Charlie L. from St. Paul, Minnesota. AA thoughts for the day. Meditation. We liked AA all right and were quick to say that it had done miracles. But we recoiled from meditation and prayer as obstinately as the scientist who refused to perform a certain experiment lest it prove his pet theory wrong. Of course, we finally did experiment, and when unexpected results followed, we felt different. In fact, we knew different. And so we're sold on meditation and prayer. And that, we have found, can happen to anybody who tries. It has been said that almost the only scoffers at prayer are those who have never tried it enough. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 97. Thought to Consider. Meditation means trusting the silence around me for a while, as if it were an answer I had long sought. Acronyms. Big Book. Believing in God beats our old knowledge. Just for today. Caring. From Brothers in Our Defects. The identification that one alcoholic has with another is mysterious, spiritual, almost incomprehensible. But it is there. I feel it. Today I feel that I can help people and that they can help me. It is a new an exciting feeling for me to care for someone, to care what they are feeling, hoping for, praying for, to know their sadness, joy, horror, sorrow, grief, to want to share those feelings so that someone else can have relief. Daily Reflections, page 118. Daily Reflections. A Daily Reprieve. What we really have is a daily reprieve contingent on the maintenance of our spiritual condition. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 85. Maintaining my spiritual condition is like working out every day, planning for the marathon, swimming laps, jogging. It's staying in good shape spiritually, and that requires prayer and meditation. The single most important way for me to improve my conscious contact with a higher power is to pray and meditate. I am as powerless over alcohol as I am to turn back the waves of the sea. No human force had the power to overcome my alcoholism. Now I am able to breathe the air of joy, happiness, and wisdom. I have the power to love and react to events around me with the eyes of a faith in things that are not readily apparent. My daily reprieve means that, no matter how difficult or painful things appear today, I can draw on the power of the program to stay liberated from my cunning, baffling, and powerful illness. As Bill sees it, running the whole show, most people try to live by self-propulsion. Each person is like an actor who wants to run the whole show and is forever trying to arrange the lights, the scenery, and the rest of the players in his own way. If his arrangements would only stay put, if only people would do as he wished, the show would be great. What usually happens? The show doesn't come off very well. Admitting he may be somewhat at fault, he is sure that other people are more to blame. He becomes angry, indignant, self-pitying. Is he not really a self-seeker even when trying to be useful? Is he not a victim of delusion that he can wrest satisfaction and happiness out of this world if he only manages well? Alcoholics Anonymous, page 60 and 61. Big Book Quote We need to ask ourselves but one short question. Do I now believe... Or am I even willing to believe that there is a power greater than myself? As soon as a man can say that he does believe, or is willing to believe, we emphatically assure him that he is on his way. It has been repeatedly proven among us that upon this simple cornerstone 
a wonderfully effective spiritual structure can be built. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition, We Agnostics, page 47. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. I have gotten rid of most of my inner conflicts. I was always at war with myself. I was doing things that I did not want to do. I was waking up in strange places and wondering how I got there. I was full of recklessness when I was drunk and full of remorse when I was sober. My life didn't make sense. It was full of broken resolves and frustrated hopes and plans. I was getting nowhere fast. No wonder my nerves were all shot. I was bumping up against a blank wall and I was dizzy from it. AA taught me how to get organized and to stop fighting against myself. Have I gotten rid of inner conflicts? Meditation for the day. When two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. The Spirit of God comes upon his followers when they are all together at one time, in one place, with one accord. When two or three consecrated souls are together at a meeting place, the Spirit of God is there to help and guide them. Where any sincere group of people are together, reverently seeking the help of God, His power and His Spirit are there to inspire them. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may be in accord with the members of my group. I pray that I may feel the strength of a consecrated group. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I'm Charlie L., and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.